All right, today we're going to check the condition of the thermal paste on the CPU and potentially replace it with this new thermal paste. If you're buying a used computer, it's really important to check the thermal paste because if it's been used aggressively when it's turned to black dust, the CPU could overheat and get damaged. Our first step is to stick our thumbs in these handy dandy loops and pull directly up. Just like that, removing the plastic cladding. Then we just have four screws to remove the heat sink and the fan together. So I'm going to need a screwdriver for those screws. Oh, there we go. After you've unscrewed those four screws, you lift up the fan and the heat sink to see the condition of the thermal paste. It looks thin, I don't see any on the actual CPU, and if you look closely on the heat sink, it's started to blacken. So to clean it off, clean off the residue from the heat sink, you can use a good quality paper towel. So I'm going to do that really quick. You don't necessarily need to watch me do it. Uh, I guess I'll just get started and then fast forward the video. Okay, I'm not quite finished wiping it off yet. I wanted to show you guys that it looks like uh, the thermal paste has actually been replaced before, but the refurbisher just didn't put enough on there. So I'm um, glad I'm doing what I'm doing because I'll get the job done right. All right, now we've got a clean machine. So now we take our thermal paste and we're going to apply it to the CPU, just like we're making a sandwich. Uh, the thermal paste came with this cute little spreader we're going to spread the paste on there just like we're putting peanut butter on a slice of bread. You want to get all the way to the edges. All right, now that we have the thermal paste on the processor, we're going to put the cap back on it and put it away. Okay, now you're going to plug this back in and put the heat sink and fan back in place. Now this is not too easy to plug in. So what I would do is hold everything in an angle like this and watch your hand so that it doesn't get into the fresh thermal paste. set the heat sink in the fan directly back down. You don't want to smear the stuff around. So there we go. And then you screw it back down. I like to screw it back down in a figure eight pattern so that it's going down as evenly as possible. All right, now that you have the heat sink and fan back in place, you can put on this plastic cladding again, and you are done. Oops. There we go. And we, oh, and we are back. Our first step is to stick our thumbs in these handy dandy loops. Wow, I can't talk tonight. And boom, it's off. So problem here is that there's not a problem. It's like you're spreading the peanut butter on to your peanut butter and jelly. Holy crap. 